audio scoops i am Hello. super super super, Hello. super super excited we are starting a new leg to our podcast you guys have been hearing us for our f1 podcast and uh, there i used to have my co-host used to be a f1 he is an f1 nerd arjun rohit also knows but now i am blessed with another super super sweet friend <laughs> who agreed to do the second leg of our studio scoop podcast and uh, let me give him a drum roll of an introduction he has been in the movie industry for last more than 10 years more than a decade i'm sure <laughs> he's also written has been a big news reporter for uh, a leading uh, english daily he has written tons and tons of good critics valuable critic uh, columns in newspapers he does his own online digital people love him his his fans including me have loved him for all consistent efforts of being known in the bollywood industry thank you thank you so much priyanka thanks rohit i am super kick and like i said this podcast is new but we have big plans we would definitely like to engage with everyone here on bollywood which is also very <laughs> close to your heart you are multitasking yeah. you i don't know how you manage but last couple of years i've seen you not just doing the journalism but also getting into the business of bollywood and marketing yeah. some very big names marketing some very big big movies and people i mean the the list goes on and on so thank you so much for doing this with us and hope we will feel bad who we going to talk about so i think enough of me and <laughs> let's let's jump to me i i, I think it's a transition uh, and i think people in studio scoop still are getting used to knowing our our contributors and we would definitely want their personality to come out in this podcast because this podcast is all about our contributors and while i can go on and on about you yes we can get to the yes, topic of the fun. day <laughs> <laughs> so this podcast we're going to call it kahani mein twist yes kahani mein twist and the kahani that we are discussing today is i think the talk of the town and the flavor of, of the, the season it's the bhai ki eid we going to talk about today <laughs> yes <laughs> so radhe let's jump to radhe Rad. how did you find the yeah. movie did you i mean are you a bhai fan no i am not a salman khan fan and since the time i've joined bombay industry i have never been a fan i think i miss him you know i miss salman khan of the 90s that innocent Uh, the kind of stuff he did, uh, the movies he, uh, you know, the whole frame of that. I think that's more uh, more sweeter version of Salman Khan. So mm-hmm. I always liked it. Very charming back then. In fact, till the early two thousands, he did a couple of uh, good films like Fir Milenge, Tere Naam, Dil Ne Jisse Na Kaha. Not big commercial films like he's doing since two thousand eight when Wanted release. It's kind of a makeover for him. So I think yes, but he's a mega star, and I love him as a star. His his star power is amazing. It's it's just commendable what he has become now, and the kind yeah. of fans he has. It's like, just really it's not easy to that power. You know? He he has. So, I think yeah. he's our Superman of India. We don't have so many superheroes, but if I have to categorize him, he is like our Superman of our right. country. he can he can practically right. pull off anything you know being a star anything. Uh, anything but he's a great entertainer what i like about him is like he entertains you know and his policy is simple and strict and clear you know that he's there to entertain now no matter you know you find logic in it or you find illogical he doesn't care hmm. he's not into awards he performs he dances with his weird steps so he i think that's his about audience. it that's a- and and those steps become a rage true so he knows the pulse of the audience and he clearly says i have met him so many times personally and he has no qualms of being a mega star he's very simple very grounded he sits on the floor with the journalist talks he just maddening in front of the camera so he's very simple fun loving person yeah and that's what it reflects in his films so probably yeah so we've come to salman's acting in a bit but what about the movie overall plot so when we talk about radhe you know to begin with the film was years much awaited film you know 
and he has a ritual to go to the cinemas and watch Salman Khan films. It's kind of a ritual every year, and people actually wait for it. You know, if you see his last uh, releases, be it Tube Light, be it Race Three, be it Bharat, be it uh, and Radhe Na. None of the films worked at the box office, and even fans were disappointed. But the whole euphoria, you know, just before the release is something which you don't see regular basis. On the day in daily life, you don't see that kind of euphoria. You know, I'm I'm not demeaning other actors here, but the kind of weight Salman Khan's fan does when you know Eid comes, it's huge and it's you know heartwarming also. You know, sometimes you know there's so many times you know in, you know in last over a decade I've been to his house for Eid. The fans love him, so he has that kind of status. He has that kind of grandeur in him, which I think is consistent over the years after, since the time he has done Wanted. Sure, if you if you the whole film in totality, it's a typical Salman Khan film. Yeah, correct. It has everything. It has madness, no logic, no great story, but still you uh, will smile. Will you know leave you with a smile? You know, and his action is phenomenal. So it's like so the pretty. typical Hindi masala movie. What the fans Absolutely. can expect out of Salman and. Like you rightly said, his fans love him for what he is. You know, I mean, then yeah. since Wanted, he's kind of carved a niche for himself, and he's doing what he loves doing. Yeah. You know, and people right. love him, and people hate him, but people True. still watch him. You know, and that's the kind of star power he brings to the table. Apart from Salman, do you feel other characters like Jackie? I mean, I was pleasantly surprised to see him there. <laughs> um, I I really appreciated how Rana's character in the mm-hmm. film has a proper graph to it, and it has a calf. It ends on a very you know nice way. So I think the Deep Buddha is really good. Uh, he's actually a good actor. You know, let's let's accept it. I think he is. He lights up the whole you know canvas of films and wherever he does it, and he is a versatile actor. You know, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you know if you go a little back he played a, a cop he played an acp in film bagi you know with tiger right so he has his own charm like he's very uh, harem and he's uh, you know smoking up and he's bindas right so obviously he's playing that character but i think he slips into it very nicely and yeah. uh, make makes it believable. believable so i think rana he was good and what about randeep do you did he Make you happy, sad, disappointed. <laughs> uh, well, I would be harsh if I say no. He uh, is phenomenal in whatever character he plays. He's, you know, he acts with ease so much ease that he slips into it so smoothly that you feel like, you know, you know, it's relatable. Even uh, romantic films, you know, he's done. He was so good in. Uh, uh, Sarji, he was so good. You know, the film wasn't that great, but he was good in it. So I think he's one of those actors where you might not like the film, but you know, he's in the space of Kompana and Rahul. Bose. A film might not like you. You don't like you know like the film, but I think Randeep shines out in yeah. what, I mean, whatever he does. Yeah. And the fact that it was shot during the lockdown, the fact that they managed to pull in a star cast. Of that stature, I mean, we have to give it to Prabhu Deva for directing it. In spite of all the restrictions, in spite of all that was not in favor of having a big crew in place, we know because we live in Bombay how much of difficult time it is for the overall industry. So you know, let's give it up to Prabhu Deva. Yes, we were our expectations Absolutely. were high. Yeah. What do you see? Yeah. Right. In fact, uh, I'll share one incident also. I met Prabhu Deva uh, during a film uh, promotion, and uh, he's very shy. Like he's extremely shy and introvert. He doesn't say a word. He only smiles. And I have a proof of it. Like I have a video, and I'm talking to him. He was just looking at me and smiling. <laughs> so he's a very sweet guy. Like very sweet. He's probably one of the sweetest actors or you know artists I've met. You know, in in the in, in so much time. So I, you know, and when you meet him, his aura is only different. But when you see his films, he's <laughs> so loud. Yeah. And then, you know, I asked, how do you manage this transformation? Like, you know, you're so shy and coy and, you know, very chill, you know, in person. But you are like a pataka on screen. Like how you direct, you know, his characters are loud, his dance is loud. 
he's full on masala you know he's a full on ganpati dance you know yeah. and uh, i feel that uh, we should give it to prabhu deva to actually you know give a makeover to salman's career i think he's solely responsible because you know wanted he directed again it was the remake of a south film called pokri and i would like to share a trivia here karina kapoor was supposed to do that film earlier wow but, <laughs> I'll not get into the gossip, but yeah, somehow she didn't. She signed Mayor Mrs. Khanna, which was released the next year, two thousand nine, in the government. I think Prabhu Deva and Salman, they are a kick-ass combo. Yeah, yeah. Barring all projects or whatever, but I think you should give it to Prabhu Deva to you know do a makeover change of Salman's career, which is a great thing, and it's still consistent. You know, pull off that kind of a makeover for any star is not easy. You know, if you look at Shah Rukh's graph, he has six flops. Not that Salman's films worked at the box office earlier, yeah. but I think Tiger's in the hair worked. I think Bajrangi was a hit. It's a blockbuster. The bang. So the bang. The bang three didn't work, but yes, the bang one and two were. But you know, one thing I would like to say that Salman's key picture is like bhai ki film, bhai ki film. So everything goes under the bang. It's bhai ki film. It's like a hit or flop. Nobody cares actually what the story is. It's bhai ki film. And this is the Eid ritual, Eidi, and and there's a dialogue also in the film Eid Mubarak. So I can imagine if I'm sitting in a Gaty Galaxy or Chandan, and what must be the, you know, or a madness. Yeah, <laughs> like you can't create that on Zplex. You can't create that. You can't confine that madness or the euphoria on a phone or a. So Salman Khan is not a mobile actor. He's a big screen. you know the slow motion the dances the comedy he does he's meant for big screen he's me- he meant he completely meant for celluloid 90 mm screen 70 mm screen so if you confining that salman khan people are like chalo we'll book the ticket it's bhai ki film but i got very mixed reviews a lot of people didn't like this film even the fans are upset i've been following on twitter instagram you know the hashtag is also trending boy god radhe there are a mm-hmm. lot of you know reactions to the film again I would suggest people if if the film like Radhe is not your type, don't watch it. Yeah, it's not for you. Very, at least you're opting uh, in for it. You you opt. So Radhe never forced anybody. Hmm. He's just releasing his work, his film for his fans. And watching that film, knowing it's Salman Khan film, and then you criticizing, I think there you are a fool. Yeah, completely. He never fools his audience, which I this is what I respect. He never fools his audience. This is it. This is it. Yeah. yeah. So. because you've seen the industry transition transit and it's still transiting like you've seen the industry from the power of khans only you've seen the industry now getting a little more open to newcomers and you know khans are yeah, khans are khan the kind of you know i remember when zero was really you know the film was bad. i didn't like it i was so upset you know and i was i don't expect such thing from anand elrai but again you know when you are a director you always want to push your limits to a certain kind of genre with a big star that's what adjazari did With Harry and Sally, filmed it because that's his non genre. Yeah. If there's a best film, with them, that's his space. Anand El Rai sir has made Tanu words fun, so that's his, the local flavor. Say here, but I think he couldn't tackle Salman Khan's or Shah Rukh Khan's. You know what I mean? The madness the- that these Khans bring yeah, to the table. Stardom. You know, it's a big responsibility when you're working with a star like Salman Khan or Shah Rukh. When you you're more of Ranjit Rai and Tanu words fun, you are more on the local uh, storytelling of the rural India. You know, and suddenly you make a zero out of it. Katrina, Anushka, or you know, and the whole industry, Rani, and my favorite play, uh, Sri Devi Ji. You know, getting all the stars. It's like a beautiful film, but it didn't work because you know you mix sci-fi also, you mix love story also, you mix triangle also. Madhavan is also there. So, do you think it's the Indian audience which is very hard to decode? I uh, do you think because we are such a diverse country and over yes. and above. that you know handling this kind of star power you know it's it's yeah, a yeah. huge pressure on everyone you think, you think it's the Not audience even, you know what i feel i blame the indian way the penetration of ott currently they welcome every kind of content so there's a scope of shit you cannot <laughs> say that people don't like so all you know we, i was recently going through a survey the most viewed app on the indian mobiles is all hulu because they talk about you know superstition badla and typical style of saas bahu and crime and you know crime in the rural area not like sacred games on a you know and world level so 
I feel that there's a scope of shit. Also, I blame Indian audience in the way that they keep saying we want something different, we want doing something different. But at the end of the day, they want to see Shah Rukh Khan as Rahul making love. You know, at the age of fifty-three or fifty-four, yeah, I think fifty-five probably, and in the late mid fifties, they still want to see him opening his arm and you know, a girl or heroine half his age, walk, you know, running towards him. Uh, in a chiffon sari, but the moment they, these stars will do something different, they won't accept. Mm-hmm. So I think our audience psyche is also, in a way, hypocrite. That we put, yeah, there's no shame using this word here because they do. The moment you give them something different, they won't like, it. and they keep cribbing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. you know, that's why zero did. That's why films like Fan did. Uh, that's why Raiz did. Nice nice I was not dancing in those films. Shah Rukh is killing his own fan, which I think. You know, backlash on on the star, and it was the biggest flop. You know, people yeah. didn't like it because Shahrukh's fan couldn't fathom the fact that you know he's killing his own fan. Being a Yashraj film, the whole euphoria again was so big. It's a big film of that year, and it was much awaited film. But again, that's what. So they still want to see the bhaygiri of Salman and the romance of Shahrukh, no yeah. matter what they do. Zero was a different kind of a film, but ultimately boils down to a love story. Yeah, he goes to the mass for it. A- That's what I was coming to. You know, do you think Indian audience is now done with love stories? I mean, I I personally feel we we want to either see a love story, we want to see action. We don't want a masala or a kichri. Yes, love life or love interest of the lead is always a good plot to have on the side. But like, let's let let's talk about Radhe again. How Disha Patani yeah. has been wasted in the movie, you know, and completely. completely. And I think the movie would have been okay even without Disha's existence. Yeah, any any actress would have, you know, played that character. Or or even not even if Disha wasn't there, we would not we would have saved twenty minutes and put more action in the movie. That what I felt yeah. was the but so definitely you need a female face. So just to you know, fill that space. I think Disha was okay, but again, I mean, Disha was completely wasted. You know, I think if you see her graph, she has not moved from her space. Hmm. She has. I won't say she doesn't have potential. She is sexy. She is. Uh, she has a beautiful body. She dances really well. Uh, the smile is cute. Uh, yeah, she has a huge uh, main fan following. It's it's amazing to see how uh, and the campaign which she did for a brand. A clothing brand made her worth crores, yeah. so she has worth. But again, you know, and she's doing a certain kind of films. She's, I think, she's on a graph of doing big films where just female parts are not. Mm-hmm. So I think that won't take her much ahead as an expert. I feel because she has to change her graph. Like what Kiara did, yeah, allude so- to her. The kind of films she has been doing right now, she changed her graph completely. She was good and guilty. Uh, she was good in love stories, so I think they both started, you know, in and around, and there've been a lot of comparison between the two. Uh, so I am Team Kiara because I think she has evolved as an actor, beautiful. But this, I think stuck in a, you know, a small mm-hmm. space of, yeah, yeah, she's just there, you know, in a, in a male dominant film because Baki was Tiger Shots, just filling the part of a female actress who's just, you know, maybe swinging her dupatta and. Or maybe dies in the interval, and, you know, something like that. So she's not doing something concrete. Yeah, she could have done so much more. You know, that's what I got personally sad when I was seeing that she was objectified. She was not given yeah. due coverage. You know, the due uh, thing which she could have pulled off. I really loved her role in MS Dhoni, though. You know, she was beautiful then, right. and you know, she has the potential, like you said. But yes, she, she can needs- do good. She can do a lot of stuff there. In fact, in my opinion, she shouldn't have done Ra- uh, Bharat. She played Radha. The character of Radha. Mm-hmm. She has just one song, slow motion, and she's the friend of uh, Salman Khan. And Salman Khan goes away, and the film changes, and she has no part in it. Yeah. So yeah. why would you? Also, I feel it's all industry relation. Let's be honest. And and to get a Salman Khan film is also an achievement. Oh, it's oh. an achievement in a sense that you are a part of Salman Khan film. It's good to get more work, or it's it's good to be vocal about it. And your equity uh, increases. Let's let's put it this way. I ko koi na nahi bolta. That's what came to my mind when you said that he's li- and in fact all the big boss contestants we saw in the movie like in oh the yeah, fight that, sequence, that, everyone- that, 
charity complete. <laughs> he has always he has done in Jaihu also. People. That's what I like about him. He takes his own a set of people together. You know, even in Jaihu, yeah, Sana Sana Khan was there. Daisy Shah. So he keeps even Tabu. They are very good friends, and you know, Tabu played a very sweet role. That's the only part I liked in Bharat, by the way. When you know she's in Pakistan, married to somebody. And he's in India, and they both talk on television. It's it's kind of gives me goosebumps and a yeah. lot of uh, tears. Yeah, it's very emotional scene. But again, so see, that's what that's the quality of Salman Khan. That's the quality of the bhai. He helps everybody. So yeah, nobody can say no to bhai. <laughs> <laughs> So Rohit, we uh, because the podcast is called Kahani Me Twist, and yes. Uh, yes, do you think there were any twists in the Kahani, or there could have been any twists in the Kahani? Very flop. The twist is when Salman Khan will watch this or listen this. That's the twist. <laughs> Or Prabhu Deva will listen to this, of course. And uh, yeah, that's the twist. I think the plot was flat, and uh, there was no graph in the story. Uh, there were no moments in the story. I think you know, last couple of films of Salman Khan's are like, very flat. Bharat obviously had that so long, such a yawn fest. So nearly three hours film, and uh, even Tube Light. I, I, see, that's that's again. I will I will repeat myself. I think these people are pushing so hard to do something different, you know, because the competition is there. You know, actors like Vicky Kaushal, Raj Kumar Rao, uh, Ayushman Khurana, these natural actors. Uh, I really I really like the work of Jerry Balawat in Shaka. You know, the actors like that, Abhishek Banerjee. So you know. I'm sure they must be thinking that you know to have a start home of maybe thirty years and suddenly it's like fading away. It's going. It's a it's a very depressing feeling. It's not easy for a star to fathom the fact that they are slowly going or they are just a brand. They are not actors anymore. So it's not difficult on their part. So, but I I think we should uh, give it to Amir Khan. I think Definitely. he is something else. He does one film two years probably. I'm eagerly waiting for Lal Singh Chakka, and I'm sure that. It's I think uh, inspired from Forrest Gump. I think it's an official remake, and I'm I'm dying to watch Bebo and uh, Amir Khan after three years together. I oh, think yeah. they'll be a great. Yeah, I, I think they were so cute together, and seeing them come back on the screen would be so so cute. And uh, again, lack of content, you know. Even Shah Rukh has it, you know. So I I don't know where they're stuck. I think they are also trying their level best to get into it and making it more. Audience friendly, but Salman Khan is a guy. He knows his track. He will keep making Radhe, keep making money. The Bhai Giri is on forever. So yeah, that that uh, so that brings me to the to the question of the business of Bollywood because you yeah. you also head. You are a co-founder in a in a consulting firm which is helping right. so many movies get marketed. You are handling right. PR. You are handling marketing uh, for a lot of big names and big banners. So, do you think the these kind of movies add value to the business sense of the overall scheme? See, um, so I would also take you a little bit at the backside of the story. What happens at the distributors front, or uh, what happens on IMDb and Google? Because I deal with all these films and YouTube. So suddenly you see, uh, say, fifty million views in two hours. It's not true. Like the whole world is not waiting for Radhe trailer to. Just like the whole world saw at once, it's not possible. So numbers are definitely rigged now. Since big films are releasing on OTT, so or Max is a you know rate card, which uh, the industry standard as per the industry standard we we follow. So I recently worked on a film called The Big Hole with Pookie Gulati, and it has a massive cast. Of course, it got little uh, you know sabotage with a web show called Scam Night Two. But when I saw the trailer, I met Pookie for a meeting, and I told him it's a it's a film meant for kids. The way they have shot it, the grand, the aerial shots, the panoramic views of Harshad Harsh Mehta, and they've kept the Gujarati flavor, like the heroines are making tablas in the kitchen. So I give it a benefit of doubt that it's meant for cinemas, but it ruled on hot star for five weeks. Like I worked on the film, and I know it. So it ruled. So there's a scope, you know. Numbers are rigged, definitely. Now Radhe also has 4.2 million viewership in two days. Yes, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable, but when you weigh it with the kind of criticism it's getting, it's not look believable to anybody on this earth. So yeah. things are rigged. Definitely, we definitely push in a lot of money to uh, on on YouTube trailers, a uh, song views. So every production house does that. You know, yeah. I I would name the film 
I recently worked on a very, very big film, you know, it has all the A-listers, it has not yet released. Yeah, so we pumped a lot of money in it to get the trailer and teaser out in public domain and yeah. to please the film. So I think everyone, everyone does it and I think the film's business is very transparent. Maybe for a layman, it, it might be a little blurred because they don't understand the business and the whole ecosystem, how industry functions. But for people like you and me who've been in the industry for more than a decade, we pretty much understand how it operates. Ah, completely. So coming to the final, final question, Rohit. Thank you so much for giving in such an interesting twist to the overall review, I would say. I would le- yes. I'm so happy we are launching this Kahani Met twist with yes. a nice twist to the review. I'm sure okay, my exactly. fans would love this. Yes. How how much twisted rating would you like to give this movie? Starting with one being twist. or zero being no twist. So last when I did this was during Ram Gopal Verma's uh, Sarkar 3. Okay. I literally wrote in the review that I am giving you one star because I have watched. I have come to watch and review your film. So it was that bad. So I think the twisted ratings for Radhe would be one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's for Thank you for, for being art. honest. Thank you. Thank yes. you. I have been honest with it and I'm in good books with everybody. Yeah. So that's the mantra. Yeah, Talk straight, true. be honest about your work. I can't, you know, there's no point telling people or the viewers or the readers or, you know, listeners. You know, it gives a wrong image of the film. And also our credibility being in the business. So, I think you so should so definitely so show your picture to people that what it is. It's my opinion. People might differ. Uh, as fans might differ. I can. I have faced enough backlash over these years. So I'm very true to my reviews. So thank you. I mean, I know Radhe and the Sarkas is is maybe not so happy with what's happening on the internet, but that's the power of internet. You have a instant feedback and. But no other star could have pulled a paid gig or a paid OTT thing like Salman did. So hats off to him right. to at least start a new wave of uh, of the in the pandemic for people to make money. You know because the right. industry has been hit badly, and you know there are a lot of films that we know are not releasing because theaters are shut and there is absolutely right. no way of monetizing this business at this moment. So this also twist. Like, oh, sorry, sorry, twist is like you know even if. You know, theaters would have been open. Radhe would have worked. You never know. Because Radhe is again a, you know, a big screen film, which we discussed. Yeah. So I think I might have liked it. Maybe I've given you know, two, maybe one, <laughs> you know, instead of one. But I didn't enjoy it. Smaller screen. I can't see Salman Khan covering his face and fit and nonsense and dancing so weirdly that I can't even match that scene. Yeah. <laughs> So, I think a lot of fans were disappointed <laughs> by that step because they can't copy it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> coming to the yeah. thank you for such Great. A, and guys, please tune to Studio Scoop now. At least once in ten days, we will we will pull Rohit here for a review. Yeah. We will you know what movies you want us to review. We can review some classics. We can talk to you. We can. We would love to get a movie trivia online live quiz starting on studio scoop slash twisted table soon so we would love to give out some quirky merchandises as we go ahead in this show in this podcast but definitely looking forward to all your feedback so please follow studio scoop look forward to all your comments even if they yes. are we would love to hear what you want us to want us to improve on you know <laughs> yeah thank you so much priyanka for having me here it's an interesting thing that we have to have and uh, bollywood i breathe bollywood so it's i think i'm born for bollywood so i think this is the best thing i could do and utilize my lockdown <laughs> great okay guys thank you so much and uh, we look forward to you meeting soon. You can find Rohit on Instagram. He's very, very active there. He does a lot of movie trivia. I will put all his links in the bio here. I will, we will be doing a lot more conversations. So please, please do reach out to us for any kind of trivia around Bollywood. Take care. Please stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye.